Hi everyone, welcome to the Jet Reese five day hair tutorial. I'm Jacqueline and I'm gonna show you five easy ways to style your hair. For day one, after first washing my hair, what I like to do is perfect my naturally air dried hair. So this kind of works for any different hair texture. You can choose to style it, blow dry it, whatever you like to do. This is my hair naturally dried. I naturally have straight hair, so what I do is put my hair in a really, really loose braid the night before. And I like to secure it with one of these at the bottom. These are the Invisibobbles. So they don't leave any crimps in your hair from a hair tie, which is important so that it looks natural. Then what I like to do is use some City Slept. This just adds a lot of nice grit to your hair without being too overwhelming. And you can see I just loosely pick it up. You're not really being, tar you're not targeting any hair um, area with this. And then I'll take my curling iron. And what I like to do is take pretty big sections and I'm just gonna kind of twist my hair in the curling iron. You can see that this is not a very technical curl. I'm just honestly making some nice bends in my hair so that it doesn't look so straight and limp. And I kind of keep the curling iron moving and you can see I'm taking really large sections, kind of finger combing them a little bit so that they're not tangled. And again, not making a very precise curl, just adding a little bit of lived in texture. With my amount of hair, I usually will do this in about five or six big sections. And this might be different for you, but whatever works. Then what I'll do is just perfect everything, place the front pieces where they need to be, you can spray a little bit more city swept or whatever hairspray you like and just kind of twist through them and then you have your finished look for day one. So for day two, I like to just kind of perfect what we have going on here. What I'll do, and this works for any part, is I just like to flip my part and add some product. So what I like to use is dry spun. It's just a really airy, dry texture spray. So I've flipped my part. Again, this works with any part. Just flip it the opposite way that you normally do. And I have this teasing comb. And what I'm gonna do is just loosely lift up some big sections and just give it just a couple nice teases. This is obviously optional, it's just to add extra mess and volume if you like that kind of a look. And I'm just going to take my curling iron again and just kind of perfect these pieces because they were curled the other way for the, for the day one look. And that's it. You just fix that first front piece and anything that you feel needs to be going the opposite way. So just as an added option to add a little bit of extra drama to this look, you can add a little bit of product. I like to use Brilliantine for this, just a nice grooming cream. And you can just kind of run that over your hair and kind of put that behind, put one side behind your ear. It just kind of adds a little bit of extra sleekness to this look. And that's the finished look for day two. So on the third day, what I like to do is what I like to call a side rope non-braided braid. So I bring all my hair to this side. I'm gonna just use a little bit of, again, just a different grooming cream. This one's called Cream Contour. It just adds some fullness to the hair and some shine. And it's a good idea to brush your hair out before trying to do this look. What you're gonna do is gather all of your hair to the side, whichever side you prefer. Put your index finger through, directly through the center of these two pieces, and you're gonna create two. What you're gonna then do is turn them both toward each other. They can either go toward each other or both away from each other, but they just have to go in opposite directions. 
So I'm just gonna keep twisting a little bit. And once I get about this much twist, I'm gonna take my index finger again, and I'm gonna put it through both pieces of hair. So with my left hand, or non-dominant hand, I'm still holding these pieces, but you can see I'm putting my index finger through both pieces, and I'm gonna use that to create two new pieces. Then I'm gonna to continue to twist those two new pieces, again in the same direction that I did the first two, so I'm choosing to go inward. And you're just gonna twist for a couple of inches, and then use your thumb or your index finger, whichever is easier for you, and put them, put it through the pieces and create your two new pieces. We'll do that one more time. And it's okay to twist them at different times, just again, make sure that they're going the same way. So I'm just gonna walk you through that again, this time a little closer up so you can see the placement of my hands. We're twisting toward each other. And then with either your thumb or your index finger, whichever is easier, you can even kind of meet in the middle with both, you're putting your finger through and you're creating your two new pieces. Going back again. We're in twisting those pieces. And then putting the finger through. And creating two new. So this is the finished rope non-braid braid. Sometimes I'll pull out a few pieces if it looks too perfect or whatever the case is, but you can either leave it really nice and tight or you can loosen it up like this. You can kind of just loosen right here, right around your face and kind of pull out some nice face framing pieces. They might naturally fall out throughout the day as well. And this is the finished look for day three. So here we are at day four. I've shaken out my braid and just kind of ran my fingers through my hair. And I'm gonna just show you how to loosely style your hair half up, half down. I'm taking my two pointer fingers right around by my temples, and I'm just going straight up. This does not have to be perfect by any means. You're just gonna gather all of your hair from the temples up, kind of smooth out any little bumps with your fingers, take a, an elastic, wrap it around a few times, and then I like to kind of just poof this up a little bit, kind of loosen right here. I even sometimes will take my ponytail and my fingers and just kind of loosely tease this to get extra volume. And there you have this look. I'm just gonna show you kind of a fun, edgy alternative to this look. This is easy to do if you wear your hair like this throughout the day, and then maybe you're gonna go out later that night, so this is taking your look from day to night. So we have our half up, half down ponytail. We're now just gonna do the same thing with our pointer fingers, but we're gonna start right above our ears. And we're gonna bring all of this hair and connect it with this ponytail. This does not have to be perfect. None of these looks are meant to be. This is easy, effortless, casual looks that you can do every day at home. So we're gonna kinda just smooth this out a little bit. Take another elastic, and we're connecting this ponytail that was half up, half down with this group of hair right here. And we're making a new ponytail. And this is kind of a fun, different way to make a ponytail that's just a new look. So we have these two sections right here. And now what we're gonna do is gather all of the hair at the very bottom, right at the nape of your neck. Take a third elastic. 
and you see I have all of this hair connected at the bottom and I'm making a new ponytail. Now what I'm going to do is kind of fluff these up a little bit. And this can be as, again, as tight or as loose and casual as you'd like. You can kind of loosen up right here around your face like I showed you with the side braid. And you can even use your fingers to kind of tease this just a little bit, just like the half up, half down. And this is the final day to night take on day four's look. So here we are at day five. This is the fifth day. I'm gonna use a little bit of Preta powder. This is just dry shampoo. You can use any dry shampoo you'd like. And I'm just gonna kind of puff it right into the hairline. This is the first place that gets a little bit oily. If you need a little bit of extra, you can kind of put a little bit in your hand, rub it through, and then just kind of run your hands through your hair, wherever you feel like you need it. The look I'm going to show you for today is your typical top knot. The way that I like to do it is I'll just grab an elastic, gather all my hair starting at the bottom with open hands so you're kind of combing as you go, gathering all of your hair at the top of your head, kind of smoothing out any little lumps and bumps. Again, this doesn't need to be perfect. The top knot is a definite effortless look. So you have your ponytail up here. I'm gonna twist. As I, as I get about this much through, so halfway through, I'm gonna twist all of this, grab the bun, and let go. So this is what you get when you do that. Now what we're gonna do is gather all of this puffy hair. We're gonna kinda twist it around the back of the bun and tuck it right in to that elastic. So just find anywhere that you can kind of get your finger into the elastic and tuck that right in and you have your top knot. So we're at day five and we have our top knot and what I'm going to show you is just an edgier alternative that I was inspired by the Star Wars movie with the character and she had like a really cool bun mohawk. So I'm just going to take this out, shake my hair out. If you wore your hair in a top knot all day and it's still really messy because you're on day five and you're going to go out to dinner or happy hour with your friends, this is an alternative that you can do instead of just a normal old top knot. So I'm going to start at the temples just like I did with the sum up, sum down. So we're going to gather just a top section. And I find with this look that I would like to start a little bit further back than I did with the sum up, sum down. So with what I mean by that is I'm going to have the bun more about right here than up on the top of my head. We don't want to look like a pineapple. So I will take all of my hair and I'm just going to just um, repeat the top knot portion of this. So I started halfway through. I'm grabbing it and you just kind of have to go a couple extra times around the bun than the first time because you have less hair. So we're going to start there. So we have one little bun. Now we're going to start right about behind our ears and we're going to go kind of back to kind of mimicking what we did with the three ponytail, the triple ponytail look that we did for day four. So we're just gonna kind of play around until we find a good amount of hair to use for this. We're gonna pick up another elastic and we're gonna make another bun. And again, these are not gonna be perfect. I will show you how to get them to look a little bit more uniform when we're all done. So we have two and now we're gonna grab the rest of our hair and create one more little bun down at the nape of our neck. So we now have our three buns. And what I'm going to show you now is how to make them look a little bit more uniform. So kind of 
Just twist them, play around with them until you feel like it looks good from the front, and then go from there. So I'm gonna try to tuck these little spiky guys in. So again, you're just gonna take them and tuck them into a portion of the hair tie that you can get your finger into. Same thing back here. Kind of gonna tuck and perfect. And this does not have to be perfect. This is definitely not a perfect look. It's more fun than anything. So I'm twisting that end piece around and tucking it in to the elastic. And here you have the final look. So this is the finished look for day five. I'm just gonna use a little bit more hairspray. Just kind of give it an all over spray. You can kind of move these little pieces back and make it nice and sleek or leave it messy, totally up to you. And this concludes our tutorial.